Right, just a quick video about something that I'd recently got. Now this was something that originally had been mentioned to me by Mick Keane. What he'd done was he'd sent me I'm like paracord bracelets and one of them was made out of this smaller stuff. I asked him what it was at the time and he'd, he'd said carb cord and I forgot he'd said that and thought he had scalp cord. And anyway, I kind of just forgot about it. And then later on, I've been looking at it and I'm thinking, I wouldn't mind some of this. So I asked him again and he said cub cord. So I had a look online and I found some. Now, I'm sure I got this off eBay, but it was actually from a company in the UK which is called Springfields. So you can get it there or on their eBay store. It's called Grizzly... It actually says Grizzly UK for Outdoor and Adventure, Cub Cord, Maximum Load, 270lb, 2mm thick, and you get on this 50 meters. it was for about 9 quid I think, and it's like a thinner, smaller, free strand kind of paracord. I'll just pull some of these out so you can see. So you got three inner strands there. I believe it's nylon cord. Now looking for any info online about this, I couldn't find anything. The only info I could find was from actually Springfields. And all they go on about there is that, you know, basically what I just said and that it's good for you know, like these paracord crafts, like when people do bracelets or lanyards or whatever else. But now I've got it, looking at it, I quite like it. It seems pretty good. I've not actually used it outside yet. I made this little hole here just to put this through. But it seems like pretty good, decent stuff. £270 for that thickness seems pretty good to me they do all different colours just like paracord now I reckon if you wanted to do a handle wrap with this this might be better than paracord slightly well quite a lot thinner so it wouldn't put a lot of bulk on a handle or if you was wrapping a sheath in it oh, and what I'll do I'll just get some paracord and I'll show you a comparison is some um, this is some paracord that I got I think this was from eBay this is the old cheaper Chinese stuff I think and you can see the difference in thickness there it's a lot thinner but it's over 270, well no, it's about half the strength of what would be 550 paracord. So that's something to consider, cub cord. Now I'm sure I've also heard it, I'm not sure if this is the same stuff, but I'm sure I've also heard it called nano cord or micro paracord <coughs> now I, don't, I can't guarantee that that is the same stuff as this because there might be you know different thicknesses if you want 2mm 270 breaking strain then cub cord this might be pretty good for well all sorts of things you'd use for paracord but if you just wanted something thinner but not as strong though obviously You know, and if it wasn't, if you didn't need too much strength, I reckon this stuff would be pretty good for small game traps. You know, if you did a trip line with a, you know, one of them alarms at the end or a bell, it's thinner. You know, stuff like that. Well, anything. Lanyard for something around your neck. 
I always thought paracords was always a bit thick sometimes. Right, anyway, so Grizzly Outdoor and Adventure Cub Cord. Maybe something there to have a look at. You know, if you want something else for your bag or your kit. Alright, cheers for watching. I'll see you later. If you like this video and you want to see more like this, check out my channel. You always subscribe. I upload them all the time, regular basis. So have a look. Right, cheers for watching and I'll see you later. If you want to get full notifications for my channel, go to this little gear symbol next to where it says subscribed. Click on that. And here where it says send me all notifications for this channel click on that and then save it